What exactly happened with Slipknot's drummer, well, former drummer now, Jane Weinberg? We can't deny that Slipknot is one of the most well-known heavy bands out there. Even those who aren't heavy listeners of the genre know about them thanks to their attention-grabbing image and loud, aggressive music. Fans know just how much the band's gone through since the beginning, which includes the departure of several members, most notably their original drummer, Joey Jordison, who left the band in 2013. But when Jay Weinberg stepped behind the drum kit the following year, fans thought it would be the beginning of a new and steady era for the band. Jay, known for his powerful drumming and energetic stage presence, brought a fresh perspective to Slipknot sound, which made him an integral part of the band. However, to the surprise of many, Jay's time with Slipknot came to a sudden end. With the unexpected news, fans started to dwell on what the future held for the band. Many said that Slipknot should just throw in the towel because they were removing members left and right at this point. So is it really time for the band to hang it up? Before we look to the future, let's explore what really happened to Jay Weinberg and how he wound up getting fired from Slipknot. Jay's audition. Let's go back to the start. Jay Weinberg's journey with the band started without him knowing it. In an interview where he recounts the first time he played with Slipknot, Jay said, My manager who managed this band I used to be in calls me and says, What are you doing? I have something and I think you want to do it. Without hesitation, I was like, Yeah, okay, I can do that. I didn't know what it was for, but I know if someone was asking me to come and play drums on something, I want to kick the S out of him. It was only when he got into the studio in Los Angeles that he was told that he'd be playing with Slipknot. In fact, he relied only on his muscle memory to play the songs that they asked for. How many drummers can you think of who can do that? Jay said that after playing the songs, that was it. We played about 20 Slipknot songs, and it was like, all right, man, if you want this, then it's yours. The rest after that was history. Jay became part of the famous band for a whole decade, right after Joey Jordison was kicked out of the band. But despite replacing Joey as a drummer, Jay insisted that he didn't want to be a copycat of Joey because he had so much respect for the former drummer. Slipknot fans welcomed Jay with open arms, especially since he was a big fan himself. When he became part of the band, he even recreated a childhood picture with members. He ended up recording three albums with the band, 2014's Five The Grey Chapter, 2019's We Are Not Your Kind, and 2022 The End So Far, plus the band's second live album, Days of the Gasano, which was released in 2017. The Unexpected News. With that, everyone thought that everything was well for Slipknot. But last November 5th, the band dropped a bomb when they announced that they had parted ways with longtime drummer Jay Weinberg. In a statement made on their social media account, Slipknot said, We'd like to thank Jay Weinberg for his dedication and passion over the last 10 years. No one can ever replace Joey Jordison's original sound, style, or energy, but Jay honored Joey's parts and contributed to the last three albums, and we, the band, and the fans appreciate it. But as ever, Slipknot's intent on evolving. The band has decided to make a creative decision and to part ways with Jay. We wish Jay all the best and are excited for what the future holds. What in the world just happened? The band's statement did not elaborate on the specifics, but it was clear that Jay's departure was a significant loss for Slipknot. Upon the release of the statement, Jay didn't speak publicly on his side right away. This led to fans making assumptions and jokes about how Slipknot just fires every good member they have. This wasn't the first time the band had fired a member, since the same happened with former drummer Joey Jordison, former keyboardist Craig Jones, and former percussionist Chris Fenn. It was during Chris Fenn's exit from the band that shady business happening within Slipknot was exposed. Chris claimed that he found Corey Taylor and Clown were taking in more money than the rest of the band when it was supposed to be an equal share among all members. Because of this, he fought a lawsuit that eventually proved that Slipknot was a partnership, and some members were merely that, members not shareholders or owners of the band. Since the departures of Joey, Chris, and Craig, fans started to take a 180. Many were saying that Slipknot was dying because it had become a business rather than a brotherhood or family. Some fans even took extreme measures, such as harassing family members of the band to find out what was happening. Oh yeah, it got that bad. And many say it just went downhill from there. Jay's side of the story. After a week after Slipknot's statement that they were parting ways with Jay Weinberg, Jay took to social media to share his side of the story. In his statement, Jay said that he was heartbroken and blindsided to receive the news that he was fired from the band, and he received the news only through a phone call. 
He continued his statement by saying that he was overwhelmed and truly grateful for the outpouring of love and support. He did declare that even though he didn't know how and when he'd start, he knew that this wasn't the end of his journey as a drummer. With Jay's statement, the public seemed to be against what Slipknot was doing. For many, Slipknot was clearly in the wrong for wasting such a talented individual like Jay. The fans were just clamoring for the band to end things because it didn't make sense how they were just firing members. Does this mean the end for Slipknot? And if not, who's going to be their new drummer? What's in store? Many think that the band's reached the end of the road, but singer Corey Taylor begs to differ. According to him, Slipknot is bigger than its parts. He admitted in an interview that he himself probably wouldn't be in the band for much longer. That might mean that Slipknot would end soon, but he stated that he wanted the band to continue on with someone else and that he would even help find his replacement. So it appears that Slipknot isn't just a band, but more of a business franchise that could live on even without any original members. The band, according to them, has always been about its music and its fans, and that'll never change. For Slipknot, they're far from ending. So whether the fans like it or not, Slipknot will continue to make music and tour the world for years to come. Even with half the original members replaced by hired musicians, they'll continue even with no original members. With what we're seeing now, it seems that they're already on their way to transition to being a purely business franchise with no fixed or original members. So if there are still fans who want to see Slipknot in the next decade or so, they have to get used to this setup. And for those who want to see the band end at this point, they can just pretend that this is the end. After all, most of the members are completely different already. Who will be their new drummer? So if this doesn't spell the end of Slipknot, who's going to replace Jay behind the drums? Fans have started speculating as to who can fill the huge shoes that Jay left behind. One name that's been popping up is Simon Crayon, the son of percussionist Sean Clown Crayon. Simon's already playing drums for the band Vended, which is being fronted by Corey Taylor's son Griffin, so there's certainly close ties there. Others are considering Roy Mayorga, who drummed for Corey Taylor and Jim Root's other band Stone Sour as a worthy candidate. Another name that's being thrown into the list is Dustin Roberts, who played for Corey Taylor's solo project and has also been known to cover Slipknot songs. There are many other names that are being discussed by fans, but of course, all these are just fan theories or requests. The band themselves have not even remotely touched on the subject as of now. Whether this is the end of For Slipknot or not, only time will tell. One thing's for sure, the band will be remembered for their music and maybe their chaotic setup. But even if Slipknot doesn't continue in its current form, they have a legacy that will live on. Whatever the band decides for the future, the fans can only hope they continue to do what they do best, make great music.